This is Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars, the original Broken Sword, but this is the director's cut, by the way. I want to give a shout out to friend of the channel Bully Buddy, aka Jill, for gifting me Broken Sword. Actually, most of the series, I think it was in a bundle and it was on special and she was very kind enough to share that with me. So we have plenty of adventure gaming videos in our near future. Thanks to Bully Buddy. So let's start a new game and find out what's Hi. going on. City of love, romance, and dreams. So they say. I used to say it too. But ever since that day, the day of the murder, I've always associated my beloved Paris with death. There will be subtitles once we get into the game, by the way. There's, I don't think there are any for the intro. Just to let you know. I love the animation in this version. Not to take anything away from... This looks very nice. Beautiful Paris. Brought to life by those good people. I was at home having a bath when my editor called. Journalist. Collard, get your ass over to the Palais Royale now. You got an interview with Pierre Carchamp. Yes, the Pierre Carchamp. The. No photos, so leave your gear at home. He has for you personally. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Anyhow, this could be big, so if he makes a pass, don't forget. Just smile, say yes, and keep taking notes. So charming and so very apt. <laughs> Pierre Carchamp was a media king a national hero, and one of the most infamous adulterers in Europe. He and his wife Imelda were just one step down from royalty. Whoa, I hate mimes, but unless you humor them, they don't go away. Mime looks particularly evil. Here I was, the palace of the media king and the ice queen. Joker-esque. And set in motion a chain of events which would change my life forever. Yes? Get. What is it? Madame, my name is Nico Collard. I'm here to see Monsieur Carchon. Come up, we're on the first floor. Giving that mime a lot of screen time. Uh oh. Madame Carchon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm sure. The Ice Queen was certainly living up to her reputation. What kind of a mime uses Will a real ladder? Staying for the interview? That's Madame the tell. Mademoiselle, I know little of my husband's business affairs, and I care even less. I certainly have no intention of watching him pour over yet another pretty little journalist. Pretty? You're too kind, madame. Ah, the talented and very beautiful Mademoiselle Collard. Such a pleasure to meet you at last. Monsieur Carchon. I am honored. Oh, I'm sure you are. Call me Pierre, please. But I do not flatter you idly. I was a friend of your father. He was a great man. My father? You know he my never father? mentioned. He and I were very close. And then his death. So tragic. I must... Imelda, your damned cat's in my study again. Another Ming vase, I suppose. Excuse me for one moment, my dear girl. I love the camera work in the little you frames. You journalists are getting younger each year. Perhaps it's the rest of the world getting older, madame. That was no cat. <laughs> God, what? Monsieur Carson? <laughs> Guess you'd have to be in shock to explain that. Why would you just walk over to a mime who's like, oh, come here? He's dead. 
I must call the police. You'd better stay here. There was a man. It was the mime. Do you think he... Well, I believe we can rule out suicide, don't you? No wonder they called her the Ice Queen. She would have been top of my list of suspects if I hadn't seen the attacker myself. Yeah. And if I hadn't come across a couple of murders just like this already. One of the most important men in Europe murdered. And here was I, Nico Coulard, alone at the scene of the crime. Should I wait for the cops or start my own investigation? There you go. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> All right. So, save off and save early, even though, strictly speaking, this is not a Sierra game, but uh, let's just call this game one. I don't know if we murder scene. Good. All right, move the mouse pointer around the screen to discover areas of interest, which will be indicated by an animating uh, blue circle. When the pointer passes over an object, we could react to change. Uh, simple enough. Briefcase inventory. I guess these are our notes. Question mark to get puzzle hints. Okay, that's nice. That might be a new feature, actually. Um, I was saying before we start recording that I have some experience with this game from the late 90s, maybe. I think a friend of my brother's gave us a <laughs> cracked version. Blank CD, very hush-hush. So, uh, but certainly not this particular version, so. I don't even know if this part was in the original game, but here we are. You are dead, right? Gotta Mines and bottom. guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mime. I'd come across this murderer before, and written about him. The costume killer, at least that's what I'd called him. Hmm. We got there. It was one of my hair clips. My favorite, in fact. It must have fallen uh, when I was yeah. knocked down. That makes sense. Well, wait a minute. You don't even look shot. Some people shot. hate oh. fetching corpses for clues. Okay. Me, I'm okay with it. Reminds me of an old boyfriend. It's one interpretation, I suppose. One reaction. Is In that the... his pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. There was no going back now. Huh. Let's check out this. Carchon had been shot. Entry point. Doy. What can we do with this? I closed oh. his eyes. It was the least I could do for the poor fellow. Eh. I opened his eyes. Best to leave the crime scene as I found it. I closed his eyes. <laughs> At this point, I was just I having fun. I opened his eyes. I closed. I opened. It's one of those things where you're like, is there going to be some sort of special response if we just clown around for a bit? I'm sorry, a man's dead. Let's uh, let's check our inventory here. So hold the button. Okay, that's fair. If we can. It was a boat ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. When I was a little girl, Papa used to take me on the Bateau Mouche as a treat. Fun. It was one of my hair clips. Should we pop this back in, or I guess maybe we can. Jimmy a door handle or something later. Poor SOB. Let's see. Let's take a look at the door. Wow. A small round piece of glass had been cut out of the pane. This was a professional job. Yeah, that's a quality mime right there. I didn't want to cut myself and leave blood on the glass. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to keep my <laughs> DNA to myself. Can we open the door? Check outside. Keep the mind still The killer about. must have used a ladder to reach the window. He was long gone. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket, and took it with him. What is that? That looks like you could easily climb up and down whatever that sculpture was. I'm sorry the uh, subtitles are so small. I really don't think that we can... Yeah, we can go full screen or smaller. And I don't think we can do anything else with the uh, subtitles, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know why those are so small, but anyway. A bust of Pierre Carchon, humble servant of La France. Anything else in the area? Pierre Carchon again. His eyes seem to follow me around the room. Multiple busts. So, yeah. Any books? 
The bookcase was filled with obscure first editions. It contained rows of... Programming the Z80 by Rodney Zacks. Ah, the romance, the drama, the great classic novels had a lot to learn. <laughs> Sorry, what? Did anyone just hear a goat? <laughs> what? It contained rows of titles. I. It contained... It contained... Hmm. All right. Let's head back out here. The police could turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the murder, and I needed to find them. Hmm. What else have we got in this room? A Louis XIV table with an antique cloth. Imelda had taste. But hey, with a husband that rich, taste is easy. That's true. You still gotta have the eye for it. You can have the wallet, but... Sure. I reckoned that cloth <laughs> might just turn out to be useful. Okay. Even hm. my fingernail wouldn't fit... Say no more. Aha! Uh -huh. Nico, you are just so damn good at this stuff. Yeah, Nico. Instead of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something going on here, and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. And hey, she'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. I, you know, however you want to justify it, you don't have to justify it to me. I'm the one who thinks we should go through all our stuff. Paint? It was a tube of acrylic paint. French ultramarine. Just the color I was after for my bathroom. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone is... <laughs> Taking stuff. Young Just... lady, what are you doing? It's a fair oh, question. Paint. <laughs> it's my favorite color. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. I was going to. I wasn't asking for permission. Imelda had talent, but I certainly wasn't going to tell her that. Excuse me, madame. Guess everyone grieves in their own way. Yes. We have some options here. Let's ask about the Joker. Who do you think played him best? Why would a mime want to kill uh, your husband? Right, the he mime. He had plenty of enemies. Half the husbands in Paris for a start. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like James Bond. How did your husband know my father? I have no idea. You didn't know him? Thierry Coulard? Pierre knew a lot of people I didn't know. Most of them women. I am so sorry for your loss, madame. No, you're not. You're a journalist. Journalists don't feel sorry. Not true. We shall see. Why did your husband send for me? What did he want to discuss? I have no idea. His business was his business. He never told you anything? No. And frankly, I preferred it that way. This is quite a scoop for you. I suppose you're already inventing the headlines. Just because I am a journalist. Don't patronize me. You're all cut from the same cloth. Do you have any moral sense at all? <laughs> I like to give you the choice here. Well, you already made up your mind about me, so I might as well. I certainly don't let it get in the way of a good story. Damn Admire right. your loyalty to your profession. The police will be here soon, madame. Is there anybody you would like me to contact? Family? Friends? No. I have no family. Pierre and I were... He was all I had, really. Not much, was it? The dutiful wife? That was my role. He never talked, never let me in. I know one thing, madame. What? If you want to find out who killed your husband, then you let me do the job, not the police. Damn Why? right. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> Just like that animation so much more than the other one. Yeah. Because you have no choice. The police will take weeks. That's true. In which time your own life may be in danger. What? Believe me. This killer has struck before, and he will strike again. Who is to know that you are not next on his list? I don't know. All I need is a few more minutes to look around before the police come. I think perhaps you do have a moral sense. Of sorts. You're not a very good liar, Nico Collard. And Haven't... I share your low opinion of the police. Haven't Here, lied. take this. It's the key to the drawing room next to the library at the end of the hall. It was Pierre's room. I rarely went in there. I couldn't. I was too scared of what I might find. Score. Thank you. I promise you won't regret this. 
So that first thing we got was a key a as key. well, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe a safe key. Maybe we'll it find the that drawing room. in the drawing room. So this will not be the drawing room. I thought of leaving. Right, that's how we came in. All right, let's head on down. Hard to run in those heels. At first I was like, come on, Nico. Cops are coming any second now, but then I see the shoes. Here we are. Now we were getting somewhere. Drawing room. <sighs> so ornate. Like a museum. As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique. Yawn. The blotter and she liked the last desk. clearly been placed with mathematical precision. Table. Like that elephant. My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. Good I eye. I for certain because in my apartment I had its exact twin. Carved into a box he had made. So Cochon had known my father. Huh. They really must have been friends. I decided to take the He wasn't elephant. just trying to get into my it pants. Really meant nothing to Imelda. He was also trying to get my pants, but... Uh... I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. Eh, I think there's a clue there. I didn't want to take the tray, but I knew that I could use it. Fair enough. This might be the bedroom back here. Locked. Not surprising, really. Hmm. <laughs> or your dad just bought those elephants from the same store. This wasn't the time for me to lie on this sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression. Oh, come on. Oh, it is very popular at parties. Especially with gay guys. Don't ask me why. Take your word for it there, Nico. All right, let's, uh, painting? The painting should be Cachons together. In love. As the poet said, the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? It's a good quote either way. There was the very faintest of clicks. Ah, we got a little Thiefy McSteels. was a safe. Little Thiefy McSteels in you, Nico. It's not a filch safe, it's a warrener. In this case, let's just use the key. Nice. The hell is that? There was a strange stone cylinder in the safe. In the safe was some kind of artifact. There were strange symbols on its surface. It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. If there was one thing I'd learned about symbols, they are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were Not impossible the best line. to read. I needed to find a way of printing them. At least the stone was round. But what could I use for ink? Way ahead of you, what could I print on? Sure, I was stealing, but I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact, and Carchon was past carrying. He's six types of dead. That's true. All right. Humor me here. I don't know if I should, like, get in the... Can I save them on the screen? Ah, screw it. I'm sure it won't let me do something I shouldn't be doing, right? There you go. My favorite color, too. I'd Dark. spread blue paint over the bottom of the tray. It was ruined. I was a very bad, bad girl. What? But also quite uh, a clever one. Glad we were on the right track there. <laughs> I was about to go somewhere strange. All right. Um, and then kind of roll this on. And then we can transfer it I over. I rolled the artifact in the paint until it was completely coated. All right, so we got a coated artifact now. What if we transfer it to the blotter Genius. here? The roller and the paint worked just as I planned, but what did it say? It was some kind of coded message. It read. Subjudice. I may not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Below it was a sequence of letters that made no sense. 
I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité by the river housed the ancient law courts. So, sub judice could in this case mean literally under the law courts, below the Conciergerie. I was pretty sure I'd found all I could here. Okay. And besides, all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty. This was <laughs> a huge story. It was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing. But I was going to crack it. And if I could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist, <laughs> I was definitely going to win it this time. <laughs> I don't think that's requisite for winning it, so... Yeah, let's uh, head to... You seem to know where we're going next, Nico, so let's get out of here. I think I have everything. Was that back on? Oh, it's the desk again. All right. Guess that'll do it. More sensible shoes would be nice. I know we're, like, kind of pressed for time here, but if we want to go home and change those shoes out... Did you find anything useful? Maybe. This carving... Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does the statue have to do with... Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend. Something to do with Africa. He never explained any more? No. But I think it was important to him. Always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Imelda, I will do everything I can to find the killer. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask... Don't worry. You were never here. Sub judice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. Glad I didn't have to figure that out. All right. Hour later. Canchon wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. She did not take my advice on the shoes, but that's alright. We will press on. Uh, under the bridge. Chili pepper style. Again, lovely animation. I know this is the remaster, director's cut, whatever you want to call the fence it. Wouldn't move. Door number two. This fence wouldn't move either. Door number three. Okay, we have a fun puzzle coming up here, I believe. Or a frustrating one. I remember there being a lot of fun. Pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. A lot of fun puzzles. A strange pair with this of game. locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. All right, let's see. You must move the rectangular blocks so the latch can slide all the way across, so releasing the gate to open. Blocks move along their length, some vertically, some horizontally, to move it, click it, and move it. Okay. So we need to be able to slide this all the way across. So, let's see. That here. Basically just make all of our moves first off. These across. Uh, let's see. That across there. Just move these straight down. Um, this across here, this here, this here. I think we're making progress, right? Uh, and I guess just move this one down. And then this can come across. Hold off on that. Let's move this all the way across. Uh, that can only go there, there. This can come across, this can come across, this can come across, this could go. Hold up. There it is. One down, one to go. All right. Same idea on this side, pretty sure. All right. Sliding tile puzzles are just the worst. All right. Uh, let's. Next.
because I don't think we'd want to try. Well, that's that's still progress. Move that. That can come across there. That. Uh, okay. Drop this all the way across. Drop this guy down. It's still not. Okay, hold on. Alright. Uh. Okay. Uh. Guess. Go all the way across there now. This can come down. This can slide over here. There it is. Nothing like a good convent education for honing your lock picking skills. Haha. <laughs> hey Amen. Telling you, there, there's, there's a relation. There's some thiefy in her. Let's head on inside. For a room full of junk, that was one very sophisticated lock system. This place was definitely fishy. In more ways than one. <laughs> that just like the whole... Oops. But yeah, yeah. What was that covering? An old shell case. I wondered what that was doing there. Shotgun? The brass case was smooth and perfectly round. That twinkly sound reminds me of something from Quest for Glory. Anything else in here before we check the uh I don't wanna leave. Hold on, I don't I don't wanna go. I really didn't want to pull the fence back up and risk shopping myself. <laughs> Fair enough. The words sinister and dexter were carved on either side. Now As any good convent girl like me knows the old Roman for left, right, left, right. But what did it mean here? SD? Where was the, uh... Rolling out the painted SD, cylinder S -S -S had given me a print of a secret message. It read, Subjudice. Below it was a sequence of letters. S D S S. DSS. Okay. And this looks like not that. This looks like it can fit our cylinder perfectly. Mystery solved. Carchon's stone cylinder slotted into the hole with a satisfying click. Yeah, sinister left, Dexter right. So it was S D S S D S S. So S. <laughs> A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. D. Another click. Another step closer. I can do that after every single turn, right? Well, now I'm wondering if I got off here. Two more S's. I love the sound of locks clicking open. Sneaky. Anything else with this? Is that gonna close the door? I removed the stone cylinder. Probably better to have that. Alright, let's head inside. <laughs> B select start. Now I feel like we're in the dig on the alien planet right here. Hearing nothing but my footsteps and light score. Oh my god! The slab came down with a hell of a force. Oh. There's nothing to hold it up. Okay, I thought we were trapped in here. All right, let's pull that down. Lifting the cross closed. So we need something to keep this in place. Hopefully something that I have. Um. L1. 
elephant. It was one of my... I don't think this is going to... This wouldn't hold the cross up. I All needed right. to use something sturdier. It's an empty shell, right? Okay. The stone cross was propped up. Now I was getting somewhere. Okay. I touched the slot. Nothing bad happened, which was good. I've always been attached to my fingers. This slot was designed for something specific. But what? I think we can use our cylinder here again. I like how you can... You get to recycle a lot of your items in this game. A lot of value. The artifact slotted into the hole perfectly. Behind the old walls, I could hear some kind of mechanism groaning into life. But whatever had been triggered had now jammed. Now jammed. All right, so is this... Can I get my shell casing back now? I removed it. The cross didn't drop back down. Okay. Might have been our cylinder holding it in the place. The gap was too thin for me to get a grip. I needed something thin enough to prise the door open. Uh... Hmm. No. And that's not going to get it done again, is it? I was going to need something a lot stronger than a hair clip to... Alright, so the casing worked before, but... I don't think... The gap was too narrow. I needed something flatter to work into it. All right, so let's see. Can we get this door open again? The cross didn't drop back down. Let's take this out. Let's drop our bullet here <laughs> underneath the door. There we go. <laughs> One flat bullet coming right up. Or a casing, I should say. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to flatten the, uh, the bullet like that. So, all right, so that... We're now the proud owners of a flat shell case. The stone slab had flattened one end of the shell case. Question is, will this still work here? Because we're going to need to hold this in place we can put our cylinder back in over there probably should have saved let's give her a shot so the one end seems like it's still okay so now we can put the cylinder back in over here quite proud of that I removed the shell. And finally, this should work. Fingers crossed. I don't know why they would let us squish that if not for this purpose. Sweet. Nico. Another good use for a shell case. So I'm Another you. secret room. Somebody had something to hide. But was it what I was looking for? So much value in this inventory, I have to say. Right, I'm going to save before we head down. Uh, I don't know, Nico too, even though we don't have a Nico yet. That almost looks like the Quest for Glory 5 interface, saving interface there a little bit. I don't know why I always feel the need to compare every game I play. Wow. Through the darkness, I could see that this was a stateroom. But for what purpose? And how did it tie in with Carchon? About to do it again. Where's the light switch? Maniac Mansion style. <laughs> As the radioactive waste is just dripping down. Amazing. <laughs> the go. thing still worked. The room lit up bright as day. That wasn't going to help. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. Giant 
map of Europe in the background. It was pretty clear from the lack of dust that someone had been working very <laughs> recently at this desk. There's still coffee? That freaked me out if this the is... The dregs at the bottom of still the map hadn't dried out or gone moldy. It uh. wasn't more than a day old. Huh. So someone goes through all this every time they want to come in here to have a cup of coffee and, I guess, access everything else in this room? <laughs> bigger picture, Tony. Bigger picture. This was the article I'd written about the costume killer. What? My suspicions were right. Oh, that's Contra why... had cut it out. Yeah, that's why... Two businessmen had been killed. One in Italy, one in Japan. In each case, the killer had worn a costume, a penguin, and then a snowman. <laughs> but that wasn't the only link between the two murders. Sorry, people Both died. the victims had been big media do-gooders, and I proved they were just the opposite. So, how did they fit in with Carchon? My articles of Costume killer. Oh my god. The sheet was a printout with my personal information. Everything from my favorite food to my waist size. They were right about chocolate. But come on, guys. I'm a size 10. There was even come a on, picture guys. of me taken with a telephoto lens. Carchon wouldn't have taken these pictures himself. This was big. And organized. I was part of it. And people were getting murdered. It's a little unsettling. One thing was clear. Someone connected to Carchon had been watching me. So chocolate's her favorite food. That's not... <laughs> I just guessed. Everyone likes chocolate. One thing... All right. Well, that's a little disturbing. So this room gets regular use, but could you, like, clean out the, uh, the cobwebs? Inside look... the drawer... I found a note, written in some kind of code. Those cobwebs look established. They've been here for a while. The note has been written using a substitution cipher. This means the different symbol has been used to represent each letter of the alphabet. Oh, this is fun. I like this. I like this kind of stuff. To crack the code, you must correctly match all the symbols to their corresponding letters. Highlight a symbol, then highlight the corresponding letter. If you make a mistake, you can go back or you can reset completely. Nice. All right, so let's look for, so a lot of words end with this symbol. So I'm willing to bet that's a vowel, probably an E. So let's find, let's just click E and let's try matching that. And that's not, it fills in all the letters for us. So we don't know that that's correct necessarily, but you know, it's a start. Are there any words that we can like make out just from the E's, assuming that this, this is the right, uh, so three, that could be the, that swirly bit could be an H. Potentially. Possibly. That's a strange l word right there if I am right about the E's. Okay. Um, and? Maybe? What word would have two E's right there? Um, that ends in that. That could be E R. That could be an R. Let's try that. What the hell is this now? <laughs> Starting to have second thoughts unless Pierre that's a very French name I don't want to profile but Pierre is pretty French <laughs> let's try that as a P repair report T let's try T So far, so good. I'm not seeing anything that could be a the, no, T. 
two, O, T O O. Let's just follow this watch. Maybe completely off. No, this looks pretty good actually, so far. Great, A, R, A. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where's the little, whatever that symbol is? Okay, let's take. Uh, that'll be a K. No more help there. Great. That'll be an F. Forget. Oh, wait, what? Froget? <laughs> Alright, hold on. <laughs> Froget. I don't know why I read that as an O. I guess I saw that. Alright, I still think we're okay. What the hell is that word, though? <laughs> Let's assume this is a C. Not. Coincidence? I. Pierre, there we go. I, I left that one. Coincidence, there's our D. Where is my, uh, there we go. This is coming together. Is not a coincidence. That's, do we not have an S on the board yet? How do we not have an S on the board? It's that little pickaxe looking dealy. Nice. Seems that, where's my M with the, the gas tank there. H with whatever the heck that little symbol is. Urgent. To wait, that'll be a W. Almost looked like a W. Surprise Wordle stream. Who came together in... It seems that... All of us. All of us. Where is it, where is it, where is it? There we go, all of us. Let's get the U, F. All of us who came together in, that's a B. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and, what else have we got? Jamada, Kumada, Vamada, uh, Yamada? That works, right? July. Heck yeah. Uh, then why aren't we getting some sort? Oh, there's one more symbol. What would this end with? Q V X is like kisses. I have decrypted the note. Yes. It read P F. Full report to follow. Oh. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. I wasn't the only one to make the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? Hmm. That's fun, though. I like the, uh, yeah, the cryptology. It's I enjoy stuff like that. When, when it's simple as hell, when it's just like, all right, this symbol is a letter of the alphabet, and then here's a whole bunch of pre-written stuff. Just figure it out. That's fun to me. The flags had faded, but their message was still pretty clear. Fascist regalia, a message of hate. Yeah, screw Nazis. That's the official Let's Play with Brick and Stance, by the way. <laughs> We're so brave on this channel. So brave. Alright, is there anything else in here? Am I missing anything? The flags had faded. Fascist. She, like, took the time to, like, look around at each one of them. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. That wasn't good. There's some item that I have? Is there like, is this key? 
work on the safe in his house and also this secret area? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll accept that as a response. Can I pick it? Is our trusty hair pen in now? A door like. I don't know if we're coming back a here. Next to the safe door. It was like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. Stakes are much higher now. Somebody may or may not want us dead. I guess our cylinder's still back in another room. That's how we got in here. Go around the wall. I think that's just Turning the generator. Turning the lights right? off wasn't going to help. Well, you can, we're just that trying was more stuff. Sensible. I mean, we're about to leave, right? We have our... Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. It hadn't been used for years. Okay. At least she just seems to know which desks to interact. Oh, hold up. Ah, something behind the Damn. drawer. Don't you just hate it when that happens? <laughs> what are we hiding back here? A photo, long lost, had fallen down the back of the drawer. It was very old, but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground. Carchon. Behind him were soldiers, a burning village, and a corpse. The photograph was cropped on the right-hand side. Somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore. I wasn't surprised. This was Africa in the 60s. An uprising was being brutally suppressed. And here was Mr. Media himself, Carchon, doing the suppressing. Huh. The photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. I had enough for a story, an amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow Carchon's to pieces. I needed to get home fast and start typing. Huh? Okay. Guess we found everything. There is to find. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's Ugh. important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. He deserved it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie, two hours ago I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchon had a lot of friends. Uh. Powerful friends. For your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. End of conversation. Good night. Let me know if you find a spine, boss. This should have been my big break, but I knew there was nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. Huh. Meanwhile, we're still caught up in this whole murder business. Somehow. Bonsoir, Collard. Mademoiselle Collard, my name is Plantard. I need to talk to you about your story. Your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Café de la Chandelle Verte, Rue Alain Cour. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. You can't tell me it's what to... Tomorrow at 8. I'll be waiting. Be wearing a grey overcoat. It's kind of my thing. People complain about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. Yeah. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantard, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. We don't have any more leads. All right. I'd only been in Paris for a week, but already I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Verte. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. 
That old Stobart charm, I guess. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. Hmm. Got the same face. What? Holy hell! Is this the same game? Wow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.